Hello guys, this is Marius from Please Fix and in today's video I am going to show you how you can create these Formula One slider slides which are quite complex but I think with my tutorial you will be probably able to make them rather quickly and most of the assets you can find on the Formula One side anyway so it should be an easy one. If you're too lazy to work on these slides, I will also include the template via the link below, as well as all assets are in this presentation, so you can find them directly there. If you're looking for more free templates, there's even another link for that in the bio below. And if you're looking for more professionally orientated slides, please feel free to look at my super template um, you can also find that at pleasefixshop.com. But without further ado, let's create these amazing slides right now. First, you start up with a blank screen. Now we want to create four different sliders. To do this, all I do is create one rectangle shape and then duplicate it four times. For this, I hold Ctrl and Shift and just drag them over. Make sure that they are attached. Second one, you can see it should be just aligned like this. And then the fourth one, right? Okay, but now we need to stretch them over the whole slide. That is actually a little trick that makes it easier to fill a whole slide instead of measuring or doing each by its own. Just hit them all by holding shift and then go to group and group them all. Now you can just drag them over and they fill out the whole slide. Now you can just ungroup them again and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. Okay, next up, we want to change the colors for these. So we want to have them in the black for the Mercedes, the blue for Max Verstappen, the green for Alonso and the red for Charles Leclerc. For that, you can just go on these home pages and use the more fill color and then the eyedropper tool down here to choose the colors from the respective website. I will do the same right now and fill out each of the different colors. Also make sure that you remove the outline. So you want to have no outlines here, so it's just straight ahead. Okay, let's go. Um, First, I'm going to choose the black for the Mercedes. And then actually in another presentation, I have copied over all of the others <laughs> just to make my life easier here. And I've already applied the correct colors to each of the rectangles here. What you will also see is that there's a little bit of a shadow here. And we also want to include that on the black one. Just right click it and get to go to format shape, go to shadow and then apply a nice shadow here so it overlaps here on the blue. It's very hard to see, but it does. Also increase the blur a little bit to make it feel softer and then it will look pretty cool. Next up, we want to add the faces of the racing drivers. You can download their faces simply on the F1 website as PNGs. Just go on the website, right click any of the photos and they should be right available. So I will do that now as well. It's just There we go. I've all copied them over. As I said, you can just get them on the F1 page. But what you will see now that it just doesn't look right it's like cut off and it doesn't look nice. And there's a little trick I can show you here what you can do in order to make it look nicer. So just choose another rectangle, draw it over each of the respective drivers like this, and then go to gradient fill. And now choose black and white to make it more illustrative here and then choose linear and then go with a direction. So have the white on the bottom and the black on top, okay? And now we're gonna make the black tab completely transparent. Then go to the white tab and then make it black. 
<laughs> basically. So what you will now see, if I remove the outline, what we will now see that there is a gradient over the picture and you will not have this harsh effect anymore and it will look quite nice. We will just rinse and repeat this for all of the other drivers. So bear with me and give me a second for this. As you can see, the layering is a little bit broken here, but we don't need to worry about this now. We're gonna next up, gonna add all of the numbers of the drivers, which is basically the same task, just layering it on top. You can find each of these numbers as well as PNGs on the F1 website. So this is kind of easy as well. And then do the same thing for the names of the drivers. And then do the same thing for the brands of each of the manufacturers. So there you have it. You have all four drivers here and it all looks pretty nice. But now, as you might recall correctly, there's also a background image to this whole thing. And I will add this background image right now. Okay, so first I'm gonna copy that over from Unsplash and we'll also link that down below. And this is the picture I included and then just send it to the back. Okay, now we're going to take care of the layering problem as you've been seeing here that this kind of looks off. First, we're gonna select all of Charles Leclerc, make sure that you also take in the picture and say, bring it to the front. Then do the same thing for Alonso, bring to the front. Do the same thing for Verstappen, bring to the front. And now last but not least, George Russell, bring to the front. Okay, that's it. Now the layering looks quite nice and we can go over to the next step, which is the animation. In order to do that, we're gonna go Command D, okay? And then we're just gonna make this smaller like this, okay? Then we're going to drag this here up, the name and number up and for the number I'm just going to shape format in this case it's text fill if it's a shape it's shape fill we can also make this a touch larger to make it look cooler and we're gonna move the gradient and we're gonna remove George Russell as well okay next up we need to insert George Russell's car so this is a 3D object that I got from Sketchfab. Some people might have problems downloading them. So I also put them in a 3D program again and exported them again. But you can find all of them in my presentation as well and just reuse them from there. Go to the first slide and put in George Russell's car. Just like this and then reorientate it. You want to have it somewhere here, I think. Okay, now we're going to arrange and hit the selection pane. And here you will see all of the different things that you have on your page. So each layer, so each picture, everything is just one layer. By clicking through it, you can see what is in front and what isn't. Okay, so for the 3D model, we want to have it below all of the drivers, but in front of the background picture. So this is the background picture. I'm gonna drag down the 3D model all the way here, just in front of picture 42 in this case, and now it's gone. I'm gonna hit Command Copy again and then do the same thing here and just have the orientation go like this. With the car just over everything. It's 
quite cool. Okay, and then we got just gonna repeat the process here like this. And now all we need to do is add morph after I resize this to go a little bit lower. Add morph now. Boom. That's that's basically everything we wanted to do. Now we're just going to repeat the same process for Max Verstappen. Duplicate this slide again, put it down here. Come on, PowerPoint, just like this. And if you add morph now, this will completely reverse. You don't need to worry about this. You just need to do the same thing about Max Verstappen right now. Remove this, remove him. Just drag this up again, just like this. Maybe, maybe like this. Drag this down a little bit and just put that here to the side. In this case, of course, we also need to move the Mercedes thing to 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 go outside of the slide. Other other way, you will just see two cars there, and then you're just gonna copy Max Verstappen's car into the presentation. To have it something like this. And then just do the same thing again. You can have it below or in front of the Mercedes and then do the same thing for slide two so it actually animates from slide two to slide three. So also add rotation to it because then PowerPoint will rotate the whole thing a little bit nice. And just put it down below the Mercedes here. So below 3D model one. And then there's morph. You see that? How easy was that? What you can even do to make things even easier, you can also have like a normal slide again that it will go back to normal and then it will go back to um, to open up Max Verstappen. So here, again, what you need to do again in order to have this working correctly is to copy 3D model one and 3D model two. And then also here, 3D model one, here, and then we're just gonna drag these two down in front of picture 42. And then it's important that the 3D model one is, it's correct like this, okay. And then add morph. And as you can see, this goes back to normal. And then this just opens as it's supposed to open. Okay. And then just to open everything up, just duplicate the slide again. Make this bigger. All right, just zoom out a little bit. Take Leclerc, pull him out. Just like this. And then take Fernando. Oops, <laughs> I left Fernando there. Pull this out as well, just over him. Take Russell, pull it out and over. Take everything about Verstappen and put it just above these two and make this thing rotate and make this thing larger, right? Okay, actually the car is still on there, okay. So we need to move the car out of the way. Come on, car. Get out of the way here. Okay, that looks good. All right, and that's it. You can resize the text here. You can also start adding new text. So like this, I just copy that over. And that's it. That's all there is to make such a cool presentation. As I said, you can simply download this presentation um via the link below if you're too lazy to it if you want to do it for your own drivers feel free to download new and different f1 cars from sketchtrap.com.com if you're looking for more professional slides get the super templates if you're looking for more free slides 
look in the link below as well. Would appreciate a comment and a like for this video. Um, and I will keep it up. I'm posting new videos, showing you more things, more tutorials about PowerPoint. And also let me know what you're looking for. Like if there's something specific you want to see in one of my next tutorials, feel free to just say that in the comments and I will make sure to make a video about it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.